So let's do a little mental exercise together. Uh, let's imagine you know for a fact you're going to die tomorrow night at midnight. You're, you're going to die. What do you do? Well, the, your first answer is probably the same as my first answer, which is do everything possible to not die. Right, uh, survivability, it's number one reaction. Some of you probably came to that. Uh, so for the sake of argument, there is no stopping it. Tomorrow night, midnight, you're dead. How do you spend the last 24 hours of your life? Think about it. Are you going to uh, spend it with somebody you love? Are you going to call an old friend? Uh, how about uh, spend time with your girlfriend who you've been arguing with lately? How about call your parents? Uh, 24 hours, not a lot of time. So what would you do? All right, I'll, that's a difficult exercise, so let's make it a little easier. You have a week, seven days. Seven days from now, at midnight, you will die. What do you do with that last week? Do you uh, quit the job that you hate so much? Do you tell your boss off? Do you uh, take your girlfriend out for a special night? Or your wife? Do you spend more time with your kids? Do you go visit your parents? Hmm? What do you do? That's even harder, because a week is not a lot of time. It really isn't. So let's make it easier. Let's give you 30 days. Now you have a month left to live. What do you do in that month? Do you... Uh, do you finally tell off that guy who's been bothering you at work? Do you uh, go out of town for a little while? Finally go to Vegas? Go to see the Statue of Liberty? What do you do? Let's make it way easier. The easiest that it really can be. You have one year left to live. 365 days. That's it. What do you do with the next year of your life? Do you pack your shit up and go to Europe and, and travel the country? Or if you're in Europe, do you, do you come to the U.S. and travel? you finally get an excuse to go to Japan? Do you skydive? Do you bungee jump? Do you finally do that exciting, awesome thing you've been thinking about doing but haven't bothered getting around to? I'm sure there's plenty of things writing a novel, writing a short story, submitting that work, try to finally get that promotion or finally quit that dead-end job you've been hating so much and get a better one. Or do you write your last will and testament or do you spend all your money? What do you do? And while you're thinking about these things, I've got a question for you. How do you know you've got a year left to live? What makes you so fucking sure? How about a month? How do you know you even have that month? How about a week? How do you know you've got one day left on this earth? And what if today really was your last day? Or this month is your last month? Or this year is your last year? How dare you have spent it doing a something as boring as you, you did today? How, how can you squander it? How can you waste it? The things you thought about during this exercise, that's the important stuff. That's the shit you need to do when you wake up in the morning. It's how you need to finish your day when you go to bed. Because whether you like it or not, whether you realize it or not, you have a limited amount of time. And yes, statistically, if you're watching this, you're between the ages of 20 and 35. Your chances of getting into a car accident, dying cancer, having a grand mal seizure, seizure behind the wheel, or having a heart attack or a stroke, they're not high. But they do happen. And if you've got things on your plate, if you've got goals for you to achieve, and you spent your day wasting it, twiddling your thumbs, not working towards those goals, You've wasted one of your last days on Earth.